Yeah, this is crazy. It's not even September yet. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I was not prepared for this. Crazy. All right, let me go ahead and get what I came in here to get, which is some um, blinds. I need to replace the blinds in the guest room. Look at this. They do not play out here. That's crazy. got the blinds when we first moved into the house it was so long ago I don't remember exactly where the department was maybe it's farther back huh these are kind of cool different kind of shelves I have like slats in them those are cool okay stay focused KK Blinds, home decor must be over here. We have these kind. These are white. Okay, so I believe these are the right ones. Now I gotta find the right size. Let me get my notes. So y'all, it looks like they don't have the size I need, which is really frustrating because I need like the 57 by like 72 and they have the 57 by 64. And then down at the bottom, shoot, I can't see through here, but I don't see 57 by 72. I see 31 by 72. Uh, this is like really annoying. All right, I'm gonna have to order it, I guess. It's probably a popular window size out here. I mean, they have this 65 by 72. So I can probably have this cut down. No, what did I say? No, damn, that ain't gonna work. Cause I need 66. 69 by 72. Dang it. What is this? 72 by 64. <laughs> 72 by 72. Here we go right here. Yes, so this can go down. Yes, this is it right here. I can do, uh, have this cut 69 and then just keep the 72. Yes, this should be it. Y'all are not gonna believe this shit. <laughs> Look at this. I found the blind and they're not even cutting them because it's broken. Oh, I'm so frustrated right now. And I'm like, should I buy the blind? No, because then they're probably going to have an issue with me bringing it back for them to cut it. Ugh. All right. This was a fail. Whatever. I'll try again another day. Well, you guys, trying to get the blinds was a fail, but I remembered I needed some paint. So I just got a small little thing of white paint so that I can um, touch up some spots on our baseboards. So wasn't a complete fail. I'm glad I remembered that I needed that. So that way, where did I park, child? So that I can go ahead and take care of that. But yeah, it is 109 degrees today. Well, y'all, uh, me trying to go ahead and get my replacement blinds was a bit of a fail today. I tried actually found the right size and everything and the cutter is down so 
I'm like, it's no point in me trying to buy the blind and then bring it back for them to cut it because I don't think they'll do that. I think you have to buy the blind and have it cut at the same time. So I'll just have to wait and hopefully when I come back to buy the blind again, the cutter will be working. So, or when the cutter is working, they still have the blind in stock. So yeah, your girl is starving. So I'm going to, I'm fixing to um, get me something to eat. There's a Del Taco over here. And if y'all don't know, um, tacos are my favorite. So I'm gonna give me a couple of chicken tacos. A little combo and get my lunch on because it is 1.30, about 1.28. So I feel like I haven't really eaten no fast food in a while, which I guess is good. You know, I've eaten like restaurant stuff and I've like had like salads and stuff at the house. But as far as just having me some straight up fast food, I feel like I haven't had any fast food in a while. So I don't feel too bad about grabbing some today. It is hot. Yeah, my dashboard says 108 right now. So, yeah. Okay, just one moment. Okay, I'm ready. Can I get a number two with a Sprite? What size? Just regular. Okay. That's it. All right, so I have a number two small Sprite, 750 Okay, thank you. It, um, it, it's not, it doesn't pick up as much of, you know, me as my other phone does, but I forgot to grab it when I left the house today, so, yeah. But yeah, ordered me a little chicken taco combo. I used to eat the two chicken taco, soft chicken taco combo all the time, but I guess I got tired of it when I was younger. That was my jam, the Del Taco. Now I eat the regular Del Tacos with sour cream. But I'm gonna try some of the soft chick tacos again today. Okay. Mild, please. though is that the people the workers in my neighborhood my local places are pretty nice they're pretty cordial pretty kind even at raggedy mcdonald's this not too far from here you know my local mcdonald's even when they telling you that they don't have half the stuff <laughs> um come on now even when they telling you everything that they don't have at least they do it in a nice way, you know, so, yeah. But, yeah, I have noticed that everybody is pretty kind, pretty cordial. Nobody is, like, rude or mean or anything, so I do like that. But, yeah, today's going to be a pretty chill day. Um, I want to do, like, I bought some shoes from Shein. And it actually took longer than usual for them to come. Usually when I order from Shein, the stuff for me, it usually comes within like a week or two, but these shoes took forever to come. And they're really cute. So I wanted to do like a little shoe try on thing for you guys. I only got like five pair and they just casual. Well, a couple of them are really cute, but child, I need to do something with these feet. And I really want to get a pedicure, but It'd be hard out here sometimes trying to walk in places, so I might have to do that tomorrow. But um, what I really, really want is to find me a, um, what do you call it, like a traveling nail tech? 
you know, somebody that will come to your house and do your nails and do your feet, child. I have always wanted to have that. Like, not just out here. I've always wanted to find that. Because, baby, if I could just have a regular nail tech that comes to my house and does my nails and my feet for me, I would be in heaven. So, um, that's what I'm going to do, honestly. I'm going to find a traveling nail tech out here. <coughs> Ooh, out here so I'm gonna look into that see if I can find that cause honey that would be preferable I hate going to the nail shop that's why I just like put on my little press ons and you know do my feet myself because mm -mm. it used to be something that's enjoyable back in the day for me but now it's just kind of like I hate sitting there been in an hour, hour and a half, you know, for somebody else to do my nails and stuff, and, and them things, they really damage my nails anyway, so I'd rather be able to just press on my nails and just pop them off whenever I feel like it, you know, that's what I like about the press-ons, you can just change them whenever you feel like it, and you ain't got to worry about, all, you know, getting all that acrylic and gel and all that stuff removed, so, yeah, but... Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and head to the house. I'm going to eat my lunch. And then if I get into anything else, I will check in with you guys then. So. Okay, y'all, listen. I got this thing on. <laughs> and it's a little bit of a struggle trying to figure out how to get this thing right. And I think I have it where it's supposed to be. But I still can't figure out. I never been good at hula hoop, hula hoop in the first place, but I can't figure out how to get it to keep. Maybe do I have it in the wrong place? It's supposed to be up here. It's supposed to be down here. Child, I think it's supposed to be around my hips. To be honest with you. Okay, y'all. I think I figured it out. I put it lower, you know, like more so around my hip area, because you know that's where the the motion is going to be. So. I think I figured it out. <laughs> oh, it might be a little too big because it's sliding down. But, yeah, I think it needs to be around my hips so I can really move it. Yeah, y'all see it sliding down, but it's going to force me to move to try and keep it up. I think it needs to be down around the hips so I can get my hula on, so. And I'm already feeling it, so we got to work it out. trying out this Benihana Japanese Steakhouse hibachi chicken rice. I got this from the grocery store, you know, in the freezer section. And so um, right now I'm heating it up. I'm going to stir it and then cook it for another two minutes and just try it out, see how it tastes. So, so far right now, I'm just stirring it up. I cooked it for two minutes. So I'm supposed to stir it and cook it for, well, two and a half minutes. So I'm supposed to stir it, cook it for another two minutes. But this is what it's looking like so far. I mean, I guess, I don't know. We'll see how it tastes after, after it finished cooking. Okay, y'all, so this is the final result of the 
Benihana Hibachi Rice. They got some pretty big um, pieces of eggs and chicken in here. So I'm going to taste it. I've only been to Benihana, I think, like twice in my life. And I sure don't remember what it tastes like. So, yeah, let me go ahead and taste this. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. I'm trying out this Dive Bar Peach Moscato today. Um, actually, I tried it out last week, now that I think about it. As you can see, I have drunk some of it, and it's actually pretty good. It tastes better than I thought it was going to taste, for sure. Um, you know, because it's pretty inexpensive, but it tastes really, really good. It doesn't give me as much of that bubbliness like the regular Masados that I like. Um, like the Stella Rosa and stuff. It's really, really smooth. It just tastes really good. So this is the peach one. I have a couple of other flavors as well to try, but so far this one is really good. It's sweet enough. It's not as sweet to me as other Moscatos that I really love, but it's sweet enough. And like I said, it's nice and smooth. It goes down real nice. So I'm gonna have it with my, my hibachi rice. It's uh. It's actually pretty good. I tasted it, <clears throat> um, and it's actually really, really good. So, mm-hmm.
You ready? Hey, you guys. I've been real bad of vlogging over the last um, week or so. I just kind of been in like chill mode. So.
this i know this vlog is all over the place i haven't even really been vlogging like i should be but i just wanted to come in because i'm about to make just like a quick little chicken wing like fried chicken wing mashed potato and green bean lunch and so child i don't know what shapes a chicken wings these are i don't know what parts and pieces of the chicken this is <laughs> but yeah it's crazy i open up the bag there's a bag of chicken wings and it's just like a whole plethora of shapes look at tell somebody tell me what that is okay but anyway so i'm just seasoning up these wings right now i'm using some of hubby's seasoning this is the s and g level up a so this is seasoning a and this one is for you know your um pork and poultry and fish and stuff like that so i'm using some of that i'm also adding a little bit of this uh sweet smoky joe's honey chipotle because i love this stuff okay this stuff is Oh, so delicious, a little salt and pepper. So anyways, I'm going to flour these up and throw them in some grease. And then I will show you guys the final product, you know, for my lunch today. <music> Thank you. 